barrage of rockets from Lebanon has been fired at various locations in northern Israel. Some projectiles reached the Meron Air Base and the outskirts of the city of Tiberias, causing fires and damage. Hezbollah has claimed responsibility for the attacks. The group says the rockets were fired in retaliation for an overnight attack that killed a senior Hezbollah commander and three others. Zainab Hodder is live for us uh, in Beirut. Uh, Zainab, bring us up to speed with the latest surrounding this rocket barrage following uh, Israel's killing of that Hezbollah commander. Well, there's been a flare-up of hostilities along that border following the killing of a senior commander of Hezbollah in overnight strikes in southern Lebanon. He was the most senior figure in the movement to have been killed since the confrontations began in October. Hezbollah's initial reaction was to fire a, um, a large barrage of rockets, nearly 200 rockets, at Israeli military positions um, in northern Israel. Now, some of those rockets landed quite deep inside Israel, some 20 to 25 kilometers. So that's Hezbollah sending a message to the Israelis. And one of its senior officials a short while ago threatening Israel that Hezbollah's operations will increase in force intensity and quantity in re retaliation for the killing. What Hezbollah is trying to do is stop these assassinations. It is hoping that these threats will deter Israel from continuing this campaign of, of pinpoint attacks, targeted assassinations. They've already killed two high-ranking commanders in recent months, but dozens of fighters in pinpoint strikes, not just in Lebanon, but in neighboring Syria as well. Now, the Israeli media is quoting Israeli army sources as saying there's still no decision to launch a wide scale operation against Hezbollah, but the army intends to continue its uh, policy or strategy of assassinating Hezbollah commanders. So the situation is quite dangerous and tense. Uh, Zaina, so it seems very clearly, at least from the Hezbollah perspective, that they are willing, they have the capabilities to uh, hit Israel hard. What does this mean in a wider context? Where are we now? Are we in a new phase? Where could this be heading? Well, no doubt we've been in a new phase for a few weeks now and in recent days, like you mentioned, Hezbollah showing its capabilities. It wants Israel to know that it has a very different arsenal than what it, what it had during the last war in 2006. What it's been doing is slowly unveiling um, its new weaponry, its anti-aircraft missiles. This is all part of a deterrence. Yes, Hezbollah is ready to go to war, but its officials keep on stressing that we do not want war, but we are ready and prepared if it is brought upon us. Now, the Israelis have been talking about war, really talk of war is growing. They've been threatening even uh, Lebanon that there is going to be, quote, a hot summer and that they can flatten Beirut if Hezbollah doesn't pull back or retreat from the border. But also, at the same time, the Israelis say that a diplomatic solution could, uh, could still work and that too is still on the table. Now, both sides, if they do, if there's a full-blown conflict, each can really cause destruction and inflict damage on both sides of the border. So far, they're still calculating, as much as we talk about escalation, sporadic escalation, they're still calculating and they are being quite careful and con confining themselves really to the unwritten rules of engagement, whereby this war of attrition is focused on military targets and largely to border areas. All right, Zaina, many thanks for that. Zaina Hodder, live for us in Beirut. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.